What is going on, guys? It's been a while, especially from this setting. <laughs> uh, but hope y'all are doing well. I'm all right, hanging in there, still working. Uh, Got to work tonight, so I'm gonna try to make this as short as I can. Um, but today we are gonna be doing a Cabin Biggio PC video. Um, Mr. Austin Farmer has been hounding me for probably the past month, month and a half for one. And i uh, got a quiet house at the moment. So I figured I'd go ahead and make one. So without further ado, let's get into this because there is quite a bit. I'm not going to go over every single card. Uh, but we will start like earliest to present of cards I have now. So starting off, we have a 2012 uh, All-American Classic Bowman. Biggio, I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, this is his first card ever. I could be mistaken. Research it, prove me wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's his first card. And uh, perfect game. I guess it was a perfect game, sponsored. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Sponsored game. <laughs> Jerseys, whatever. Uh, there's that bad boy. It's a nice one. Uh, next up, we got the Panini USA Baseball from the 18U. Not numbered or anything, just your regular base card. Here's from the same set. It's a little dual patch relic. Um, numbered to 75. Oh, it's pretty cool. And here's another one from that same set. Just a single patch. Number 6 out of 35. Next up, we have some 2013 cards. These are from the 2013 Panini USA Baseball. Or Champions, Baseball Champions. I actually ordered a box on eBay and uh, that actually should be here today according to shipping so I'm hoping to hit some good parallels of some Biggio out of there it's also got a good checklist of uh, some big stars and Hall of Famers from back in the day as well King Griffey Jr. Frank Thomas and whatnot but so this is like a champions insert in that set this is uh, just a base uh, certified and then you have Blue, parallel, number to two ninety nine. I do plan to get all parallels. I so my main goal with Biggio is um collect every card, not per se like out of ninety nine I get one through ninety nine. That's not that's impossible. But. <laughs> One of each parallel, whatever. Um, Super Fractor is going to be ridiculous. Not going to worry about those. Um, even some out of fives are ridiculous, but do what I can. Um, I am on Trading Card Database. I am the number one, uh, ranked number one in Biggio collections by far. <laughs> I think seconds like. 30, 40 cards below me, unique cards, but so this is uh, another little insert to Game Gear in that box I was just speaking of. It's pretty cool. Uh, next, I'm kind of somewhat half-assed in order here in my box. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Okay, so these are all, so we jump to 2016 to uh, his first Bowman's. So this is his first Bowman Chrome. Just your regular base, not numbered. Uh, this is another one. Actually, that's the refractor, I'm sorry. Yep, it's 
the refractor, the old eyes. So that's pretty cool. It's in a shitty top loader. Me and Austin I'm talking about that uh, eBay resellers. Oh, I mean, they, their dogs could chew on the top loaders, but they'll put them in there and ship them to you. But uh, I do always transfer to new ones. I just haven't done that one yet. Here's a uh, sky blue, I believe. It's not numbered, just a parallel variant. So that is the only uh, Bowman Chrome I have. Um, then we have, just put these to the side. Let's see. So these are all just the regular base uh, first Bowman papers. So we got five of those. Then we have, start getting into the colors here. So there's two of these, they're at a $4.99, just your like black border. Then we have nice blue. Lighting in here sucks, I apologize. It's at a $1.50. Number 150 of 150. We have green. Should be numbered to 99. Yep, 76 of 99. Then we have the gold. And that is going to be numbered to 50. And orange. This is number two twenty-five. Five of twenty-five. <clears throat> so let's look at the what, red. Definitely the red out of five to get, and then uh, the one-on-one's just not gonna happen. <laughs> so those are pretty cool. Um, let's see, like I said, trying to go somewhat half-ass in order here. It's hard because all these like inserts like tops now tops on demand don't know when they came out yada yada but uh let's see so we'll just go with these i mean it's just a like some minor league cards nothing too huge whatever i mean grain made by grandstand um I mean, we have Quite a bit of those, or yeah, those. Um, there's another one for the Bisons. So it's like the 2019 International League. Um, Nets by choice. Uh, then we get into, let's see, we got the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. And we got, here we go, here's a, it's a Topps Pro Debut. I uh, definitely looking to get um, all the variants of this as well. And just, so here's a 2018 Topps Holiday Bowman. Uh, here's 18. Minor League Heritage for the Fisher Cats. This is just the regular uh, card. And then this is the glossy version. It's hard to tell in top loader. But it, anybody who knows uh, Heritage is, uh, or anybody who knows Heritage is like a thicker stock and it's like paper on top. But this is just glossy. It's a little variant there. Let me get into, let's see. So this is 2019 Heritage. This is the Fantastic Feats insert, nothing fancy. Um, this one is, it's considered like a high number short print. This is 211, I think 201 to 212. Those cards are short prints, whatever, but there's that Biggio. 
fucking so much of that. I, I cannot get enough of that. It's one of my favorite sets. Second favorite set of 19. Right behind uh, Chronicles. So here are... So this is Bowman's Best. 2019. It's just like the base. Um, I think this is what? Cracked Ice Refractor. Not numbered or anything. And then this is like a... This is Bowman Chrome. Uh, it's like the Arizona League. It's pretty cool. Excuse me. Alright, then we got a couple... 19 Don Russ Optic Rated Prospects. Again, nothing too fancy. Love the Rated Prospects though. Speaking of Chronicles, so I got a lot to catch up on with Chronicles too. It's just so hard to find. So here's uh, the Unparalleled, just the the base, nothing fancy with it. Here is the Astral. Got three of those. Again, that number just says the Astral up top there. Three of those. Um, Got the obsidian. I know there's a lot of variations with these. Um, I don't know if prism means anything or if that's just the base to it, but you gotta look into it. Um, just a Titan Hollow. And the big old thick uh, Spectra card. It's nice. So I, I got a lot to do from. Uh, Chronicles or a lot to get and it's just so hard to find um, then we got there's this little set here I don't halfway understand it but it's it's like the ex Vlad Jr. Um, I think it's like a 30 card set but three of them include Biggio because uh, it goes on with, you know, Vladdy Sr. and Vladdy Jr. And then he talks about Biggio, Craig, and Kevin. Now they're, you know, like it says here, friends. Friends and favorites. So. There's that one. And there's that one. So, it's that 2019 rookie campaign. So, I mean, these are just sharp cards. I like them. I like think that they're, uh, you know, the, the darker, just looks clean. So yeah, I guess the, the legend, as they call it, that little set. <clears throat> we got, so this is a cool one. It's, uh, it's actually, so it's a 52 car baseball created by Kenny Main, Main. Not sure if the the numbers signify jersey numbers, which I know Biggio does wear number eight. But as for like the other players in this set, I don't know if it signifies their jersey number or not. Uh, there's that one. Cool, just little random cards. Um, tops is a bunch, like on demand and stuff. So here's like a black and white from Tops on Demand. This was, what is this? I know it says, so another on demand. You just gotta catch these. You can either catch them live on Top's website or which I just go to eBay, find them for a lot cheaper than buying a pack and hoping to get one. So there's that one. Uh, this is a pretty cool one. It's got the little holiday bow up there. And then it's got little holly leaves here. Pretty cool. A lot of little, you know, if you don't go out and search whatever, you never know they existed. Um, let's see, I got a lot more like tops now and stuff coming up. I'm trying to sort them here. So this was another little set here. Uh, so 
it's a this was a throwback Thursday set. This is actually a whole set, but the card number one in it's 19 highlight. It's got the players to hit for the cycle. You know, Otani, Turner, and Biggio. It's pretty cool. Oh my God, here's another throwback Thursday. Kind of like the, uh, was that 78 rookie design? It's pretty cool. Bijou up there along with Means, Hudson, and Sheffield. We have the. Let's see, I had the stupid top loaders. Let me see if I can figure out what year this magazine was. Uh, yeah, 1990. So that's like the 1990 Tops magazine design. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorites. It's a throwback Thursday. This one, I got, I got two of these. These are also, I think, from On Demand or whatever. But there's these two, same. And then this is a short print or variation. It's actually, I think there's 20, 15 to 20, whatever cards in this set. And all the short prints are, you know, PV or photo variation. There's those. Should have had these more organized, but whatever. <clears throat> There's like a rookie progression. Um, just like 90 esque design. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, and then we got some tops and nails. The regular Biggio there. Then we got the, uh, I know it's gold, but that's just a typical card, whatever, but it's his first uh, cycle of his career. It's pretty cool. Eight to five win. But yeah, all the tops now, they got the little tops, uh, hollow thing going on in the back there. Here is uh, tops total, which used to be a Huge, uh, successful um, like set back in the day. Then they come out, uh, I guess, like four or five waves every year. So, really, that one actually just got this one the other day. Um, and here's some more. It's like a tops on demand, uh, like a 3D motion card. There, it's pretty sick. Some more tops nows. Of course, a Biggio and uh, Vlad Jr. moment of the week. Then uh, it's the first time two sons of Hall of Fame players are MLB teammates. That's pretty cool. Screw you, Bichette. You ain't here yet. You're still in the minors. <laughs> then, yeah, on the back of this one's got good old Craig and uh, Vlad Sr. So I like those a lot. <clears throat> Let me get, what are these from? I think these are archives. Yeah. So here's just a regular, the base rookies from Topps Archives. And then this is a purple. No, you can't tell. Whatever. It's numbered 154, 175. Just got this one a couple days ago in the mail. I still have yet to. Cut the stupid scotch tape off there. There's that one. Um, Jesus. <laughs> All right, so here's gallery from last year. It's just irregular, then the green parallel. Uh, it is numbered. What's that? 99? 25 out of 99. So in a lot of those, I think there's blue, like the wood. Different variants. Um, this is a fun stack here. A good old update. <clears throat> it's like his 
true, true rookie. <laughs> All right, let's see. So these are 2019 update. So this is Chrome, which is his regular uh, rookie. Another one, another one. Then we got paper. So we got the papers. Um, Just let it, some top loaded, some not. Just a, it's a lot of work to top load every single card. <clears throat> um, okay, so then we got. So this is like the 150, whatever thing on the back, and it's always in every year. Or not every year. Um, you know what I mean. Damn it. <laughs> uh, and then here's a pink parallel of it. These are not numbered also. Then we move on to the rookie debut. Holy hell. <clears throat> Let's just do these for now. So these are your Topps Chrome rookie debuts. Okay, then we got the paper. So many. Apologize. Trying to keep this on camera also. Just looking for variations. I think I put them all like towards the ends. Alright, so there's the 150 stamp on that one. Not numbered. There's uh, the refractor. Here is the gold out of 2019. Um, another one. And another one. <laughs> Here is the Walgreens yellow. Not numbered. And then you have... So this is... Uh, 2019 update. This is a short print, the little media interview. This thing goes for about 22 bucks nowadays on eBay. It's getting ridiculous. And here is the super short print of him running the bases from 19 update. And this one's around 60 to 80 at the moment on eBay. So prices are ridiculous now no baseball is <clears throat> definitely not helping prices of cards um then we got tops holiday from last year i was in love with tops holiday then i got tired of it opened so much of it those are all just like the base and then here's his uh sh this, the only short print he has holding the santa sack it's pretty sweet um, let's see, then we get into some 2020 stuff here. I'm sorry, these are actually 2019 still. So this is the, <clears throat> what set were these from? I can't remember, it was the 84. I think it was update, right? 2019 update, these uh, 84 designs. Anywho. Um, there's like the base, just a regular white one. Um, then we got the black out of $199. Then we have the blue out of $150. Then the green out of $99. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we got the purple. That is at a 75. And then we have the gold. And that is out of 50. So still need a couple 
I think I need the orange and the red. Um, the one-on-one is not going to happen in that as well. It's ridiculous. Uh, <clears throat> all right, then we move on to 2020 Don Russ. This is the regular base, the white. Then we got the Walgreens, or as I just found out this year, uh, Dollar Tree yellow. <laughs> None of these are numbered. There's the blue hollow, then red hollow, and the pink. So working on that rainbow little set as well. Um, then we got 2020 Series 1, a bunch of these. Start with, uh, come on. So, got the, so the Like Father, Like Son checklist with uh, Kevin and Bodacious Bo. <laughs> uh, but a lot of those, no variants of these, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. But a bunch of those. Then we got good old, let's see, just uh, his Future Stars card. Um, not even gonna count, a bunch of those. These are all just the regulars. <clears throat> then we have another just regular base. Um, here is the rainbow, not numbered. Here's the Walgreens yellow. And then this is a short print. It's the uh, advanced stat number to 300. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang it, what did I just do? Okay. Trying to keep these somewhat organized. Then we have. So from the. Like, Tins, not tins, whatever. Um, the turkey reds, just the regular base cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have the uh, the chrome. Two of those. Those are not numbered. Got a lot to go on those as well. I know there's a lot of variations. Uh, then we move on to opening day. Almost done here, guys. I apologize. <clears throat> so we just got some... So these are all just the base opening days. Same as this Future Stars card, just not on there. And opening day insignia there. Logo, whatever you want to call it. Um, then we have the like a, the blue border here. Not number. Then we have the red. Then we have the, what they call the Meyer Purple. So these are only sold in Meyer stores, which they do not have around here. I have not seen a Meyer or a Meyer in years, years, back in my Indiana days. Then this one's pretty cool. Um, so, let me just grab the base, or let me just use this one. So this is the American opening day versions you know when he's fielding and this is the canada version so it's got the maple leaves there in the water and he's bunting this is pretty cool i actually got this shipped from canada it's a cool little sp there it's happy to grab that all right what's next y'all So we got just a little bit of heritage. Um, so this is the base, you know, black border heritage. Um, nothing fancy. Then we have what looks like the base, but it is actually the yellow back French text 
SP. So if you read it, it's in French. Fich calm. And then the white water, which is a short print in its own. The whichever players have them, there's only 50 of these made. Not numbered, but it's just a little FF. That's pretty cool. I do know they got the chrome, which I do not have any, obviously. I would have shown them, but and they have like the white border chrome cards, which are freaking sweet. Um, then we get into some Gypsy Queen. I have just about every variation of this. I have to go back and check, but. So we have the. This is just your base Gypsy Queen. Um, okay, two of them. I'm sorry. Two of those. Um, it's the green, green border, not numbered. I think these are. Uh, I got it from Target. A little blaster. The uh, extra packs. Um, and here's a blue. This one is numbered to 250. Then we have the Gypsy Queen logo swap. Then we have the missing nameplate. Then the, these are pretty cool. The, it's like black and white. They keep the, the border and everything in that blue. Just makes it pop. Love that. And those are numbered to 50. Then we have the good old bazooka back, which is my favorite. It's got like what looks like uh, the bazooka gum stains and stuff on it. Sweet. So that is it for the gypsy queens. Um, See, that's actually yeah, uh, one graded card. <laughs> I'm slacking on my slab Biggio game, but it's a throwback Thursday and a 10. That's pretty cool. Just the back. And that is my Biggio PC. Um, not too, too fancy, but... We'll get into the autos now. Um, so at the moment, I have 11, technically 12 autos of his. And there is a lot more on the way. That's what took me so long making this video, because I've, I've always got Biggio cards coming. But I don't have nothing too, too fancy. So I just figured I'd go ahead and do it now, but... Let's do these autos right quick and then we'll end it. So this is from that All-American Classic. This was hard to find, but I got my hands on one and got one. So that's beautiful. And that is numbered, let's see, number three of 199. I'm trying to get it right, there we go. Three of 199. <clears throat> then we have Extra Elite. Extra Edition Elite Auto. That's numbered out of two ninety nine. And this is so the USA Baseball is numbered three forty nine. Trying to see what year this is. Twenty twelve. Is that one? Love the the flag backdrop. And here is a first Bowman Chrome auto. It's pretty sick. Love how he went above the tape. Oh. And that one is not numbered. Here is a Bowman's Best from last year. Nice one. 
refractor. Um, this next one is from a generous dude, very generous dude in the community. I uh, believe it was his 250 sub giveaway. Um, just bringing it from the top. That's the Bowman's Best Franchise Favorites. Gold, 44 out of 50. But this is from Nick, over at Nick's Quality Cards and stuff. Um, could not, could not believe <laughs> he threw that in there. But very grateful, very appreciated. Love you, Nick. And like I said, got something for you coming out soon. There's that bad boy. Beautiful card. Actually thinking about possibly grading it. Um, definitely not PSA, but maybe Beckett. But yeah, it's a beautiful card. <clears throat> then we have uh, from 2020. 85 design so there's just like just a regular base white border pretty sweet <laughs> excuse me and we have same but black border I believe these are numbered out of 199 yep it's a 34 out of 199 Hey, how that sleeves in there like all bunched. I'll fix it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> then we have from this year's opening day. Got that one. A little sticker auto. That's pretty cool. Um and we got two more and then something else uh, so this is <clears throat> from tribute tribute this year is freaking amazing um it's just that they pop man take that out of there but there's uh yeah man there's things are just beautiful it's a 139 out of 199 Love that tribute. Actually got a, uh, <clears throat> might as well show it because Rizzo and Biggio share a little box together until my Rizzos get situated. <laughs> but there's uh, the Rizzo from Tribute as well. I know this is a Biggio PC video, but damn it. I can add Rizzo if I want. So that's 6 out of 60. That's so beautiful <laughs> um the next from inception it's freaking love the patch on this so a big old a off his jersey there and this is numbered one of 25 so this is like the red or orange whatever you want to call it but yeah, man, that's, love that patch. And they actually, uh, you know, showing Austin, there's one, uh, and it's got like the button of his jersey. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that's, so that's my, that is my Biggio PC at the moment. Um, there is one more, I'm gonna, I have this code here so you sons of bitches can't steal it. But, so this is <laughs> a, uh, so from 2019 Chronicles, uh, Contenders Season Ticket Hollow Platinum Blue. This is a one of one. I do have this in Panini system. It's been almost a month now, still nothing, which I'm kind of disappointed in. Last time I did a Panini. Um, Redemption, it, uh, it, uh, 
It only took like a week. So, a little pissed about that, that it's taking so long, because I really wanted to show that in this video, but for the time being, we'll show the redemption, and uh, I'll make an update video, or with along with a different video that I do. Um, I'll show that off whenever I get it, because I, I, I have not seen any pictures whatsoever of it. Uh, there's none online. Obviously, it's a one of one. <laughs> but I, I mean, I searched other players to get a feel. What I mean, I, I got a gist of what it looked like, but not the what is it? Hollow platinum blue. So excited to see that when it gets in, and I'll show it. But it's been forty some odd minutes here way longer than I anticipated it to be, but appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, you're welcome, Austin. <laughs> ah, love you, bro. But that'll do it, guys. I'm gonna get some rest for work tonight. Again, thanks for tuning in, and y'all have a fabulous rest of your day. Peace.